Say, What's up, YouTube? This is your boy Game Free Daniel, aka Big D. And this is little ass. Little ass, my <laughs> nephew. <laughs> Me here, and he's gonna do the unboxing. Hell Carefully yeah. open the box. Alright. Alright, so you see the tape in the line? Alright. All you do is straight down. Well, I could just. Yep. That's it. That's it. You're done. Like then you just easy. take. It's my first time. We're kind of unboxing this together. Oh. So, this so guy. Yeah, more bubble wrap. Pretty. So guys, wow, even has the lens protector and everything. So, so it's like it's new. Wow, it looks so like, it looks old too. Yeah, so this right here oh is the very first so Oculus cool. Quest Wait, you 1. Got, you got it in black? So you know it's the first model because it's black. It says Oculus. And it's, small and, eh, it's kind of so big, like but Wait a minute. Wait. this is the very first. It's like the 3S in a way. Very first like, Oculus like, Quest One, wait a minute, wait a and I only paid thirty dollars for this headset, Dang. which is crazy. The only reason why it was thirty because it didn't come with the controllers, but you could yeah. still use hand tracking. Yeah, but the fact it was thirty dollars and it has the lens protector, like it's still new. It looks new. The only thing that's different, it's just. It was literally a display unit. That's why it has a couple holes there because they had it for a display. That's literally it. So there's this guy on eBay. I bought this off eBay. He's yeah. been selling a bunch of these oh, yeah. for like 30 bucks because they're display units. But that's it. There's nothing different about them. They don't come with a controller if you're okay with that. $30, you cannot beat that deal for this headset. Um, it is 64 gigabyte. So it's nothing crazy, small, you're on a budget, you don't have much money. $30 can get you this headset. It's cheap. Like, it's pretty cheap. Yeah, like, that's literally that's like, pretty like cheap. five finger discount. For, for a, a, a virtual reality headset, that's pretty cheap. Yeah, that's pretty if you had no headset at all, $30. But sadly, he is not selling them anymore. I bought the last stock of it, so he uh, ran out of stock. Now, I don't know if the guy's going to get more, but if he does, I'll leave the link in the description, and you guys can get yourself a $30 Quest 1. <laughs> but uh, Quest 2, you pushed left or right in three modes. I, think that'd be better. I just realized this has like a cover right here. Oh, Have like, you seen that? Look at that. That's like a cover. That's perfect. I don't know if that's supposed to be like that, but that... Well, that's actually good because... That's different. Cause Quest 2 don't have that. Well, when I sweat, it won't... I thought, I think it won't, like, ruin it as much. Yeah. Like, me, me might not ruin it. Yeah. That's Laying around in case somebody wants to game with me okay. while I'm in the 3S. Uh, mainly my nephew. He likes to play some VR with me, so oh, yeah. I figure a headset for him to play on when he comes yeah, down. it's about the same thing. Literally. Just lower resolution it's and just, stuff. It's just, like, two Less powerful. It's not, like, it's not like, but it will get you in VR. So the PlayStation VR compared to this, this is slightly a little powerful, but the PlayStation VR has some pros as well. Looks pretty cool. What do you think? I would say that this that this it looks is really pretty cool. cool. Yeah, I would say this is really cool. Volume button. Uh, oh, yeah, you got a jacks, jacks for your headphones. Ooh, you got a headphone jack. That is even has so cool. built-in speakers Ooh. where you don't have to have headphones. Um, adjustable strap. I heard the strap ain't too comfortable, but we'll try it out and see. Yeah, I don't think, I don't think um, it's like that. Yeah. I don't know what this button is. It's rubber. I don't think oh, it's that's probably the power bad. button right there. I mean, it's just rubber. I mean, I don't think it would really... So I noticed the headset, like the strap, so it kind of like slides. That's really good. It's... I mean, it's not uncomfortable. It, it's not as uncomfortable as what people would say. Maybe if you're playing it for like an hour, two hours, it might get uncomfortable in the forehead. But, but yeah. I mean, it, it's like it's actually kind of nice. I mean, oh, yeah. it's a little, it's definitely front heavy. It's but it's not like the two. it's not like too noticeable. Yeah, it's not like front heavy like the two because the two like he was basically. I think the two, the two might have been. I can't remember if the Quest Two is a lot more heavier than this one. Well, yeah, well, yeah, because you said that. Not the but I, was better. The the Quest Two was definitely heavy, which the Quest Two is like an upgrade of this one, but. This is my first reaction on this headset. I had never wore this headset before, and not too bad first. 
first time putting it on. Now, I don't know about long time gaming. That might be a different story. But, like, with the VR, you can, with this, you can see more. Like, say you're in a game, and then, like, you can't see because there's so much stuff around you from, like, the below. Well, it's not like that. But you can still go below and look around. So you, so what you're saying, you can still see under the nose piece right here. But it's not as much as the VR. That's, that's, right. that's the good thing. So the field of view on this is, I think they said 90 degrees, where the PlayStation VR is 100 degrees. So there's a less field of view, but it's not too bad. Um, it can plus it can only go up to 72 frames per second, where the PlayStation VR can go 100, 120 frames per second but the fact this is wireless you can go wherever that's that's what's a game changer for this headset is well, i get i have liquid too you know why they say no sunlight on these lens because it'll kill it it's because like a magnifying glass oh it'll burn it yeah it'll burn an image right into it like a like like you do with the sun with a magnifying to a paper yeah. it'll catch on fire no way yeah that work These like are that. pretty much magnifying glass to your eyes. Oh, wow. You're fine on the outside of the cameras. They just tell you don't have direct sunlight to the lens because it will it'll ruin your headset. Mm -hmm. What I see is the boot up screen of the Oculus All right. logo. Not the Meta logo, the Oculus logo. Ooh. Because remember they changed remember they change um, um they changed the names later down the road. Oh, so, they, so this is the Oculus this Quest. This is the OG Oculus. So this is the Oculus Quest. Yep. You guys, so I don't know what I did, but I actually was able to bypass the controller setup. And right now I'm looking at the main menu. I was just hitting random buttons like the, the volume button and just randomly hitting buttons and this popped up. And I'm actually able to see the home screen for the first time. So that is pretty cool. I'm filming the lens through my phone camera but you can see the oculus the old oculus uh symbol wow i don't know how i was able to do that i've been looking up methods how to skip the controller setup so i can set this up with hand tracking so right now it's just showing app do you want to disable for stop open I don't know, I might open and see what it does. Well, I hit um, disable and it actually got rid of that screen. And now I can actually look around so I can actually first time see what it looks like inside this headset. And it don't look bad with the OLED screen. The blacks look really nice. Um, you can see your person's body, you can see my hands. But the hand tracking is not it's not uh, enabled yet, so I need to still figure out how to get to the settings and set up hand tracking. Okay, so you could see me adjusting the lens. Um, I'm at 68 with my eyes. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to see if it will let me try to bypass it on the app. Maybe. So it has the options factor reset or continue setup. The, the whole point of this, I'm trying to bypass where I don't have to hook up the controllers. Apparently there's a method where you plug it in through the computer and you can go through developer, hub mode, and all that. There's like a 15 step how to do it. to find an easier way than doing that 15 step somebody said hook up an xbox controller to it and you can use the xbox button as the oculus home button so let's go ahead and try that i have one of these adapters 
one of these where I can plug it in through the Quest and plug it in through there and then plug in my Xbox One controller. Or if you have the Series X, then you don't have to use that adapter. Plug it in the side, you can see it's getting power. So still nothing yet. It, it's not even working with the Xbox but, uh, controller. Probably because we're still set up in, we're stuck in setup mode. Hold the power button and I can select power off with the volume button. I'm gonna reset it and see what it might do. Whatever I did, I disabled something. So I don't know, we'll see. Loaded it back up and it actually shows a window saying no internet connection. Interesting. Okay, so now I'm stuck, so I had to power it down, but this time I'm gonna do the power and the volume up and hold it. And it should put it in um like safe mode. Huh. I just got a Android logo that says no command. Wow, whatever I disabled it, it disabled it completely. I don't even think I can factory reset this. No command. And it shows the Android. So I can't, I can't even get it in factory mode now. It won't connect on the app. Shows the meta symbol now. Instead of the Oculus. So it's trying to boot up, but now I'm just stuck in the home screen. Where it just says no internet connection. I hit the volume up and down. Making the sound effect like it's trying to select something, but nothing's happening. I think that was part of the headset of how it was set in how it sets itself up pretty much done got it I finally got it it's in USB update mode I have boot device device info factory set side load okay this is where I might kind of mess around to see if I can bypass it if you want to know how to select Volume down to go down, volume up to go up, and then you hit the power button to select it. Side load update. Boot device, device info. What's the device info? Uh, okay, it just tells me the serial number and all. What's this side load update? I think this is where you can do it through the computer. It's black screen. I'm trying to power it on or off. I can't tell if it's on. And nothing's happening. Uh oh. Okay, there. I had to like hold it for 10 seconds. I got the meta symbol. I'm hoping later in the future if they make the meta quest 4. I'm hoping they can make it where you don't need the controllers to set up your headset. Like... I can't stress that enough when you buy these headset used on eBay. They charge outrageous price just for them controllers because they know you need them controllers to set up the headset. I'm hoping Meta does something about that later in the future. Erase everything. I factory reset it, so hopefully that will fix it. Okay, so it's back to factory reset. It's showing where you can put in the code, download the app, so it's back to random, it's back to its original setup.